Good evening and welcome to Friday Night Prayer. I hope that this week has been kind to you and that you're well. We're going to have a little bit of a change this week from the Northumbria community material I've been using since March. And we're going to use the Iona Abbey Worship Book, which I'll just show you. And this is the book that they use in the Abbey. Um, it's certainly the, the last time I was there, which was a couple of years ago now. Iona is a place that's very special to many people and it's, it's special to me. I've been there three times and each at a very sort of significant point in my life. And the the liturgies that they use are very beautiful and poetic. And I hope that you enjoy this, something a little bit different. Peace on each one who comes in need. Peace on each one who who comes in joy. Peace on each one who offers prayers. Peace on each one who offers song. Peace of the maker. Peace of the son. Peace of the spirit. The triune one. O oh God, for your love for us, warm and brooding which has brought us to birth and opened our eyes to give wonder and the beauty of creation. We give you thanks for your love for us, wild and freeing, which has awakened us to the energy of creation, to the sap that flows, the blood that pulses, the heart that sings. We give you thanks for your love for us, compassionate and patient, which has carried us through our pain, wept beside us in our sin and waited with us in our confusion. We give you thanks for your love for us, strong and challenging, which has called us to risk for you asked for the best in us and shown us how to serve, we give you thanks. Oh God, we come to celebrate that your Holy Spirit is present deep within us and at the heart of all life. Forgive us when we forget your gift of love made known to us in Jesus and draw us into your presence. as we think about the day that we've had in silence we share our day with each other we bring to God someone whom we have met or remembered today and for whom we want to pray we bring to God someone who is hurting tonight and needs our prayer. We bring to God a troubled situation in our world tonight. We bring to God silently someone whom we find hard to forgive or trust. We bring ourselves to God that we might grow in generosity of spirit, clarity of mind and warmth of affection. O Trinity of love, you have been with us at the world's beginning. 
be with us till the world's end. You have been with us at our life's shaping. Be with us at our life's end. You have been with us at the sun's rising. Be with us till the day's end. Amen. hope that you enjoyed hearing something a little bit different tonight. Um, the, the words are incredibly beautiful, as are the Northumbria liturgies, but they're, they're very different from one another. I've got a few other books in the Celtic tradition as well, so we could even try something different each Friday, maybe rotate them and just try something, yeah, try, try sharing a few different things each week which would be lovely. This week has brought many challenges in the news and with increasing restrictions, increasing COVID cases. The, um, the graphs that I was looking at today are very convincing of a, a second wave. And then there was news late last night that university students may be prevented from travelling, which I, I'm having trouble to get my head around how heartbreaking that is. So I think my main prayer tonight is for all university students who are just starting their first year in very different circumstances than what they expected, who are away from home for the first time and yet isolated from one another. Thinking particularly of the students at Glasgow who are being isolated because of having so many positive COVID cases. And then it, it's very difficult to be home, away from home for the first time, even when you are an adult. It's um, a difficult time emotionally and it can be a time when many young people experience difficulties with their mental health so to have that uh, potential to then not be allowed to return home um, when they are probably going to be needing that familiarity and comfort most that is a very uh, difficult and upsetting thought so I, I pray for each of those young people in the families who are struggling with that. And for anyone who is struggling tonight, for each of you, for our lovely St Michael's community, both the physical and in, in-person congregation and, and those who found us online or maybe those who have come back to us online, you are each a blessing. You are each loved. And I pray that your weekend is restful and restorative and that you do something that brings you joy, that you are able to see people that bring you joy and that you face the week to come feeling restored and um, filled up and I will see you again next Friday. Good night.